Question number four, should people be eating dairy? Great question. And my response is that if you struggle with eating dairy product, and what I mean by that is if you have some kind of gut-related negative symptom from eating dairy, so whether it's being, whether it's feeling bloated or whether it's getting a weird feeling in the back of your throat or whether it's um, asthma or eczema and, and dairy doesn't um, sit well with you, then I think it's safe to say that we should, that you should avoid dairy. If you don't have a problem eating dairy, if it sits well with you, then um, absolutely by all means it can form a very, um, a very important part of a healthy diet because it's full of protein and calcium and other, and other awesome things. I've heard of lactose intolerance, and I've also heard that there's a good portion of the world's population that can't digest lactose. Can we yeah, that? that's true. And of course, if you are one of those people, you will certainly know about it. If you have a glass of milk or, or something with lactose in, and you get uh, bloating and gastrointestinal symptoms, whether it's uh, diarrhea and bloating are the most typical ones. So then... lactose is the sugar? Lactose is, is the sugar. And, and sugar is carbohydrate, so lactose is the carbohydrate found in dairy products, right? So that's found in milk, because milk has, you know, a cup of milk has about 10 grams of carbohydrate, and that's predominantly lactose. Whereas if you have cheese or butter or other dairy products that are mostly protein and fat for, for, for um, cheese and mostly fat for butter, then there is um, little, if any, lactose in there. So again, let me just reiterate, if you have a lactose issue, avoid it. If you don't, no problem.